Another day, another underqualified 20-year-old's opinion on YouTube. Today I'm talking about how I think it's actually good that people are getting replaced in software engineering. And before you debate about people getting replaced, I have hard proof. And that's if you go to the subreddit ChatGPT Coding, I think it's called their GPT Coding. It's just people telling stories about how basically they're doing their jobs. These are like industry professionals. They're just completely vibe coding everything. And they're like, this is so much better than I was ever doing. I'm like getting a raise here at my company. And you doing that is definitionally being replaced. And now these people might be like triumphant right now and they see it as like a big revelation, but it's not gonna take very long for management to catch on to what you're doing there and how replaceable it is. And once that happens, and it's definitely happening, you can see like advertisements everywhere for these different services that like increase the profits for companies. These are huge, like ruthless capitalist companies. They have big operations research teams and they'll catch on to you. Those people are gonna be immediately fired. And what's left is going to be the best engineers. I'm not really sure like how high the bar will go up, how many people will get cut off, but it'll definitely be some amount of people. And they're definitely, it won't fully kill software engineering. The best people will still be necessary because some projects are just still so complex or they're using like new technology that's not really in the training data of the LLMs yet or just other stuff like that. Things that require human reason. So those people getting replaced, a lot of people are panicking about that, but I actually think that's a very good thing for the industry because first of all, the market is very oversaturated. It's difficult to get a job for a lot of people. And it also means that big companies can get away with paying us less because there's so many of us. And also, also, those people who are just doing it for the six figure, like learn to code pipe dream, and they don't actually care about the industry that much, they're pushing code into production that's just bad for like all of humanity. We all know people like that, that just write terrible code and it's because they don't enjoy it. They just went through school. Maybe they got some like formal CS theory some Java and stuff. And they just don't really do anything outside of work because they like, they don't learn on their own. If you're watching a video like this, you're probably past the curve, you're fine. It means you're like invested in the field, you actually, you like it or you just wanna improve in. Then you're probably completely fine and don't have to worry about this. But if you're just vibe coding everything, you will be replaced. Those are the people that, that can be replaced. It's not like prompting is like a special skill you have to learn. Like anyone can do that. And what what's maybe gonna be more valuable is just broader CS knowledge or software engineering knowledge, I guess, more than computer science. Like you have to know all the frameworks, how they fit together, all the different protocols of things, general terminology. As these LLMs get better and better at replacing like boilerplate tasks, it'll be very important that you understand fundamentally how everything is working under the hood. But yeah, overall, I think it's a good thing. It'll be like, you know how like doctors, that's like a very elite profession. You have to go through tons of school and that's because it's a life or death scenario. You don't want like an incompetent person doing it. Same thing for this, making the field like more competitive will mean that there are just better people doing it and we won't have like a flooded market with people who don't really care and just want the money. So we'll get better software overall too. One big question, though, that's going to come with this huge, like, LLM revolution, and I think software engineering is just one part of the working world that will be affected, like, a lot of white-collar work will be. What will happen to those people now that they're basically obsolete? Like, if, if your strongest skill set is coding and you're, you're bad enough that you're being replaced by an LLM, like, what can you do beyond physical labor, you know? So we might get some, like, huge, disastrous market collapse when everyone like scatters and goes different directions but who knows it's been going on for years and years and years that we've just had people who like change acronyms and move money around and basically do nothing and everyone is okay with that it seems like so i don't really know i could see it going like catastrophically when everyone gets replaced or just kind of things stay the same people move to more blue collar stuff but i don't know yeah that's uh that's the overall video you you will be replaced if you're a bad engineer you're probably not a bad engineer watching this though so i wouldn't worry about it and yeah if you suck as an engineer i'm kind of glad ai is taking your job and making this field competitive again yeah restore the glory to software engineering it's it's becoming just something people do for the money